For Cairo of Hine Hakere Rangi and Puranga Hua were installed yesterday in a rededication ceremony at the Gisborne District Council Chambers. The carvings were commissioned in the early 1990s and hung at the entrance to the Council Chambers in the old Council Building. A year ago, an EV delegation representing Turanga Nuya Kiva and Nati Paro, led by carver Thea Turangi Nepia Clamp, asked the council to install the Fakairo in the new council building. The two Fakairo represent Nati Paro and the EV of Turanga Nuya Kiva. They were carved by Mr. Nepia Clamp, who is also the Tairafiti Virgin Trust Chair and a Sea Captain. When he received the commission, Mr. Napier Clam consulted with Stan Pardo, the late Apirana Mahika, and the late John Ruru, who all agreed for the carvings to be based on the history of the coming of the Kumara. Uh, the two carvings uh, representing the coming of the Kumara was Hini Hakiridangi, who was the Kaitiaki, the guardian of the Kumara on the, um, on the Horota canoe, with her brother Pawa, who was the captain and um, Hini Hakiridangi was very, very um, instrumental in planting the first, plant, the first gardens of Kumara in the Tairawhiti, um, particularly in, in Manatuke, being um, Araituru and Manawaru, the two gardens. And then uh, the other carving that's in the council chambers building, uh, council chambers room, sorry, is Paurangahua, um, coming over, bringing the Kumara on the back of uh, Rua Kapanga, his uncle's bird, great bird. And so he had gone back to Hawaii to get some kumara and to get some kumara seeds because his wife was hapu, she was pregnant at the time and she was yearning for kumara. So he went back and um, in order to get back um, quickly he borrowed his uncle's uh, bird, Rua Kapanga's two birds, giant birds, and um, flew back bringing the kumara back um, with him. Mr. Napier Clamp said Councillor Pat Seymour kept asking the council staff where the carvings were. When he was reunited with the carvings, Mr. Napier Clamp dusted them off, all them back to health, and initiated a conversation with the council staff about rededication. The entrance to the hallway that goes down to the council chambers, um, that site was selected because. Um, in the council chambers, that's where they make all the big decisions. Big decisions to um, plant the seed, basically, to nurture the seed and to harvest. So that's um, pretty much a decision-making process. Yeah, so, um, so that was the reason that she is gracing the, the beginning of the corridor that goes down to, the, um, down to the council chambers. And then in the council chambers, we have Paurangahua overlooking um, what goes on in there.